Hey everybody, how y'all doing? It's Steve coming at you. Hope you're having a great day. Well, I decided to do this quick video. I'm a uh, happy Sunday for me. And I'm rooting for my boy Tom Brady, as y'all can probably see. That's my jersey there for Tampa Tom. Uh, I'm an actual New England Patriots fan, more a Tom Brady fan. Still pissed at Belichick for the way he was unceremoniously released by the Patriots and sent away. But he ended up in a good spot. He picked the spot he wanted. He took a shot. And now the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which were the losingest franchise in sports, are on their way to the NFC Championship game, going to be playing it in about an hour from now. So that's my guy, Tom Brady. Good luck. I'm rooting for you. But this video is not so much about football. What it's really about is <laughs> Joe Biden. <laughs> I'm trying. I, <laughs> I have been attempting to avoid for the most part uh politics because i'm in my happy place my my favorite football player got his team which was the losing his team ever into this uh, uh championship game for a chance to compete in the super bowl in their home state in their home city because the super bowl is being played in tampa this year so i'm rooting for him hard for that but on top of that or rather aside from that it's just hard to ignore some of the stupid stuff that's going on in D.C. So, Sleepy Slow Joe, uh, Cheater in Chief, first day. <laughs> first day in office, did two amazing things. The first thing he did, or one of the two th things he did was he eliminated women. Hey, y'all gone. <laughs> oh, you can't stand the rude, brash guy. Ladies out there, y'all go. He don't got rid of y'all when it comes to competition, when it comes to sports. Uh, he signed an executive order eliminating genders in sports, I guess gender discrimination in sports. So essentially what that means is <laughs> these trans men and trans women, I still don't understand what the difference is between the two. Uh, but the trans men and trans women who want to play in sports can now compete. So these guys who are pretending to be girls who can't make it in the men's sports who are going to come over to the women's sports and clean y'all's clocks. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, the women who are pretending to be dudes, they got no shot. <laughs> if they try to come over to the men's sports, and pull that stuff, they gonna get owned. <laughs> That's why you don't see it. You don't see it happening. But you see these guys in, in, in the NCAA sports and all this other stuff who are pretending to be women, and they know they're not women, but they want to win medals and they want to win. They want to win trophies and all this other stuff. Like you got guys pretending to be women going into weightlifting competitions. Stop it! Stop it! See, for all of those of you who support transgender rights and all this other stuff this is the problem this is why common sense should prevail there are only two genders it's biological it's chromosomal there's only two and men biologically tend to have denser muscle larger lung capacity uh, stronger bone density than women I don't care who you are. I know some awesome female athletes. A dude in your same weight class. If you're a female boxer, a dude in your same weight class, same height, will who is also a boxer, will beat your ass. <laughs> you're going to get owned. It's just how it is. And so thanks to Joe Biden, that's going to happen now. So you can forget about them scholarships and all. <laughs> it's going to the pretend girls. It's not going to the real girls no more. So first day at office. The other thing I thought that was funny was he signed an executive order uh, to stop the Keystone XL pipeline. So what that means is all that nice, cool uh, wonderful oil and gas we had coming through the U.S., between the U.S. and Canada, uh, the partnership we had, uh, you, that, that's gone too. And Justin Trudeau, Mr. Frenchy Frenchman, uh, <laughs> stupid loser up in Canada, he was upset about it. He was like, you know, I disagree with this. And, and, and then even the union 
that deals with the workers who are going to be affected the pipeline by this pipeline being stopped. Um, the union leader is upset about it. But what's funny, what's funny is that union <laughs> and Trudeau, I'm sure, but that union endorsed Joe Biden. <laughs> Now, <laughs> do I think these are good things? No, I don't think it's good. I think it's bad. I think both things are very, very bad. But look, for those of you who voted for Biden, for those of you who call me a sellout and an Uncle Tom, and I don't like black people, and I don't like this, and I don't like that, and I don't just don't understand, and so ecstatic about Joe winning. And I got friends who still be hitting me up with all this stupid stuff we suffer from serious Trump derangement syndrome, TDS. Hey, this is his first day when he did this stuff. Imagine what his first year, if he makes it through it. Imagine what his first year is gonna be like. So, this is what y'all wanted. This is what, I only had no complaints from those who supported him. This is what you wanted. This is what you get. Now, we all know, and you know too, y'all know, they cheated. There's no way Joe Biden got more votes than Barack Obama. There's no way Joe Biden got more votes than any other president in U.S. history ever without campaigning. It, just, it did not happen. And you know that, but you ain't going to admit it. But that's all good. That's neither here nor there. The basic point is, you're going to find out. What did what, what, what my boy say? You're going to learn. You're going to learn today. You're going to learn today. <laughs> you're going to find out quick that you messed up bad. And I'm loving the buyer's remorse. I have. There's people already upset. I'm loving it. But for those of us who understood what's going to happen, we just got to be prepared. And in four years time, or actually in two years time, we got some retribution against uh, those uh, who voted against President Trump and who tried to take him out and still trying to take him out. Now we got some retribution coming that we got to deal with those people. And definitely in 2024, we got to get rid of all the swamp rats on our side, especially this upcoming 2022. And for sure, the rest of them in 2024. Now, you guys agree with what I said. That's great. If you don't, let me know. I'm fine either way. I hope y'all having a great day. I'm getting ready to watch my team, getting ready to watch my guys play. I'm rooting for a Bucks, Bills, Super Bowl. Aaron, you got a few more years. I ain't worried about you. Really hope you guys lose. For all you Green Bay fans out there, suck it up. And for, and that's just how I feel. And for uh, the KC fans, I'm sick of y'all won one Super Bowl and you act like you're just owed a dynasty because of that one Super Bowl. I hope, I hope the Bills beat the brakes off y'all. And so with that, I hope y'all having a great day. If you disagree with what I said, that's great. Steve, I don't like what you just said about my team, but whatever, whatever you disagree with me about, I'm cool with that. Uh, if you disagree, please feel free to leave a comment. If you agree, leave, feel free to leave a comment. Either way, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Definitely share it. I'd appreciate that as well. I hope y'all having a great day. I'm going to enjoy my game. I'm going to root for my boy Brady and the Bucks. Hope they come out with a win. Y'all take care.